If it swims, he seeks it. If it exists, he will find it. And if it's possible, he will catch it. Simply Fishing and Hall of Fame legendary angler Bob Mesacomer are on a quest to expand your fishing horizons on every episode. Brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. A-Team Tackle, revolutionary spinnerbaits and bucktails. Klein Nissan, your Nissan dealer with a global perspective. Diggs, experience the turn worldwide. Pose, makers of the original giant jackpot and the new Havana Jack. SimplyFishingMagazine.com, your free interactive online fishing magazine. Ardent Reels, rule the water. And by Custom Muskie Baits, catch more with your new favorite lure, the Stalker. Got him. We lost him. Oh. Little guy. That's what we're looking for, though. No yeah. ifs, ands, or buts about it. They're Hi, snapping. everyone. Bob Mace Comer here. Hey, welcome to today's show. In the back of the boat, Jason Holt from Hamill, Minnesota. We're out of Shoal Lake Lodge this week. We're looking for giant muskies. That was a pup. Hope we can find a big one. Don't go anywhere. Right back with more Simply Fishing. Jason, what do you say? You get your first fish? Your biggest fish? I'm hoping. Let's do it. I'm hoping. Nice current coming across here. Pushing up against this face on this side. Muskies will lay on that face where that current's hitting it. It doesn't really push them against the rock, but it'll push the forage that's coming through here into their strike zone. So they'll lay up for that. So the current is pushing into the small island Into there. the face of the reef, yeah. Okay. So what we want to do is we'll hit the pockets as we go through. You can see the crack in the rock and then a little of the grass there. We'll hit those areas as we're going through here. And it's kind of unfortunate for you, but I got to put my little lure in there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, I got to do it, you know? No, no, that's fine. But if, if one comes up that doesn't eat me, I promise, I will pull my bait out. Okay. And you will be able to catch that fish or at least have a shot at it. I'm going to hold if you she, to that. If she eats it, we have no, you know, it is what it is. Okay. But you can't very well sit up here in the front of the boat with a Havana on and not put that Havana where you need to put it. You know, you know instinctively all the years of doing this that you're either going to catch fish or you're not. And a lot of it is where you position the lure and the lure you choose to position there. Quite frankly, a lot of people will overlook, even though it's bright and sunny right now, it's dead calm, people will overlook throwing a giant jackpot or Havana. And I think it's a big mistake. Because quite frankly, it's one of the most productive baits you can possibly choose. Right. Here he is. Keep the rod down. Ooh. Good job. He's barely hooked. Yeah, it's okay. Don't pull her head out of the water. Keep okay. her in the water. Bring her my way. Okay. Coming up at you. Yeah. Maybe I don't see the fish, so I got to be careful. Okay, bring her. Just she'll turn around this way. She's coming. No, she's got to come this way. She's good to go. Bring her this way. Okay. Bring her head this way. She's hooked good. Bring her good. this way. She's good. Good to go. Good to go. There you go, big guy. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Wow. You just beat your personal best. <laughs> okay, wow. we got a little bit of current to deal with okay. here. 
Oh, uh, let me do this. Uh, okay. Tell you what I'm going to do. Um, you probably haven't handled a lot of them, so why don't I cut the hooks and stuff, okay? Okay. So just give me a second. All right. He's not going nowhere. Okay. Lay, hit your free spool. Okay. Okay. Get, give yourself about 10 feet of line. Okay. Lock your reel and lay it down behind the seats. Okay. Right against the seats. Right against the seats. Okay. There you go. Now come down in this seat here. All right. There you go. Good job. Okay, now hang on to the net. Okay. Got her? Hang All on. Right. Hang on to her. I'm going to move my rods, okay? All right. Give me a second. We have some current that's going to get us in trouble if we don't kind of hustle this. Nice job. Nice job. I'm glad she came up and ate for you. Well, we saw her here <laughs> several yeah. times now today. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we got. Current looks good right now. Okay, why don't you go ahead and sit down. Just go right yeah. down, sit right, just, no, no, right down in the seat, just okay. like normal. There you go, I can lean forward. Okay. Just watch this on the boat. Okay, gotcha. Okay, and I'll cut hooks. Okay. Nice job, Jace. Wow. <laughs> She don't like being in this net, though. That was fun. You know what was nice about that? You watched her eat, and you didn't exaggerate your hook set. Right. You got enough of her to get a hook in her without tearing the hook out of her. Some people have a tendency to get overboard on their hook sets. Yeah. But that was a nice job. Much easier doing it that way. You need me to pull the. Nope. We'll get her. Get her out of there. There you go. Okay. All right. We're sitting here just fine. Okay. Now I'm going to take the net handle back. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have you lift her up. We'll take your lure and move your lure and everything. Okay. Take that out of the way. Okay. Now you're going to take your hand. You're going to go inside right here, mm -hmm. open her up, pick her up, hold her tight, get a good hold of her, support her on the bottom, and I'll take a picture of you, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm going to slide the net back to you. Okay. That's why we turned places here. All right. Okay, let go. There you go. You got her now. Okay, get a get a good hold of her yeah, first. Gotta get a good grip on her. There. Keep her yeah. Ready? Like this? Got a hold of her? Yep. Okay, hang on. Good. good job. There you go. Step up there. Good job. Nice fish, eh? Yeah, beautiful. Good job. Drop her tail a little bit. Very nice. Go ahead right. now. Release Just her. Set her back in. Yep. Right there. Same place where we were. Good job. Grab her by the tail. Superb. How big do you think? I'd say 42. 42. Yep. Pretty nice fish. Yeah. Good girl. All the hooks are cut. She's fine. Nothing's left in her mouth. Pretty fish. Very nice. She let her go. She's ready to go. She'll just cruise out. She's she's not gonna blow away fast. There she goes. She's on her own. Wow. Saying goodbye. Congratulations. Thank you. That was great. <laughs> so was that fun or what? Oh, huh? I'm still shaking. <laughs> now do you understand why we got off the water in the bright sky? Yes. When you're on the water when the fish aren't gonna bite, meaning high sky, high barometer, your attitude goes down, your energy levels go down, you need to get off the water. Just go take a breather, get cooled down come back out and fish when the fish are going to eat. Maybe we'll get another one. Yes! Show like muskies, eh? Great. Good job, Jason. <laughs> Good job. I mentioned before in earlier shows to pay attention to my color choice in terms of the Agitator X. Now, here we go again. Can anyone tell me why I choose the colors I do? If you said to catch more fish, you'd be right. If you said to catch more fishermen, you'd be quoting the other guy's sales pitch. 
Get an Agitator X, Agitator Husky, or Agitator Junior and start cutting those hooks. Dial 1-800-222-8775 for your nearest dealer or to place your custom color orders. Not every color can possibly be available through the retailers, so please feel free to call and we'll build it for you. WWW 18 Tackle will provide the necessary information in regards to color and lure selections, so please check out the 18 catalog prior to calling. We look forward to servicing your needs at 18 Tackle. Totally void of all vegetation. And it's not like it's, you know, down there three feet deep. It's not there at all. Yeah, pretty bare. Yeah. Well, it rained the first six weeks we were into fishing this year. The first six weeks solid, it rained every day. Cold rains. Not warm, cold. Which retarded the lakes warming up big time. Right. You get a flat day like this where you'd get some radiation going on, and the next day it'll blow 30 miles an hour and destroy all of the value you put in the resource because of the solar radiation. I'm going to try to start making this turn here now. Okay. Keep an eye behind your bait. Okay. I'm going to keep throwing right up against those rocks. You know, people say you need to figure eight every time you bring in a cast, and that's relative. If you're fishing dark, dirty, dingy water, figure eight might be the way to do it every cast, but when you're fishing gin clear stuff, you can see you can see down 15 feet and out behind the bait 100 yards. There's no sense in figure eight in that. You just have to keep your eyes open. If you're paying attention to what's going on, you'll see the fish behind the lure. Good pair of polarized glasses. One thing you can't do is you can't stand up in the boat and lollygag. You've got to be paying attention, looking behind that bait, three, four feet maybe. Five, ten feet in some cases. I can see way back behind this bait, and I can see the bottom. There's no absolutely no need to figure eight right now. That's a killer cast. Precision. Look at this. She don't like me, man. Boy, she ate that Avenger. Okay, I'm gonna, I wanna unwrap her before I bring her over. Okay. Beautiful fish. In the bag. Good job. Nice fish. Absolutely, good solid mid 40s. Wow. Man, she went around and around. I kept accelerating that Avenger, kept accelerating. She kept coming tighter and tighter and tighter, brought over, hit that third or fourth time. Boom, she opened up and ate it. Yes. Great when you pulled the it over. The big key, folks, is to pull these lures back over the top of the head of the fish. If you can do that, you'll get them to take them, they'll take their, their head and they'll arc it and it loses sight. And when they lose sight of it, they just eat it. Nine times out of 10. That one did. Yes, yes, yes. These are bright, sunny skies barometers. 29.8 right now and they're rising on us. So, nice. Yep, nice fish. Nice fish, yes, sir. Boy, she wrapped up though, didn't she? Well, she's a good, good fish. Yeah. You got the net? Yep, I got her. Okay, I'm gonna try to cut that one hook right there. Oh, hey, 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 come on now. This will be a lot easier if you let me do this. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. 
You know, I said this was on the Avenger, it wasn't. It's on the Agitator. I forgot I had switched out to the small blades. The difference in the baits, folks, is the size of the blades. The Avenger's got big, big blades on it. 54 was on my Avenger earlier this year. This is an agitator. It's got small custom-made blades. You can really burn this lure back, and in calm conditions like this, you want speed to be part of the initiator. That's what'll do it. Of course, we got double marabou on it and two Eagle Claw 5X lasers on it. Very, very sharp, very, very good bait. Want to see her quick? I think so. All righty, let's take a look-see. Nice fish. She's not liking me, though. <laughs> Tell you what I'd like to do. Hold that net up. Okay. I want to take that one little hook out of there. There we go. That's a piece I cut off. Come here, girl. Come here. Come here, baby. I got you now. Show her off to you real quick. We'll get her back in the pond. Wow. Nice, pretty fish, really. Just an aggressive, just a nice little solid fish come up off that reef, made our day at least a fish day. We need to get a 50 though, let's get her back. Nice fish, good job. We could get a 50 tonight. The way this weather's working. Yes sir. She says, I'm out of here. Thank you, baby. <laughs> thank you, thank you. There'll be something out there. You're right on top of rock right now. Ooh, yes. Hey, hang on, hang on. Yep. Big fish. Big fish. Okay. Bring the bring the net into the water. Okay. Hold on, she's gonna run. Okay. Coming toward you. Okay. Net's down in the water. In the bag, in the bag, in the bag. Hey, you got her, you got her. Keep her up there, keep her up. Got her up. <laughs> She's good. She's yeah. good. <sighs> oh, nice fish. Holy smokes, Rocky. She came out of nice nowhere. Fish. That fish wow. scared me she came up so fast. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna get the net around her. <laughs> Okay, let me uh, let me move some rods here. I need to get in there and cut some hooks really quick. Okay. Man, oh man, did she smoke <laughs> that thing or what? And wow. that's what they haven't been doing. They haven't yeah. been. Oh, yes, indeed. Yeah, she was not coming off. And I got a hook point very close to my hand in there. It's a big fish. Okay, girl. Slow down. Me and you're gonna waltz. I'm just gonna move this back. Oh, yes! <sighs> Very nice, huh? You wanna turn it diagonal? Turn it diagonal. The other way. This Di way. There you go. This way. You got her? 
One more. Perfect. Man, that's nice. Get her? Yep. Let's get her back. Beautiful. Oh. Oh. That was, there she goes. There she is, huh? Woo, is that beautiful or what? Huh? Look at that. Absolutely. Wow. Oh, yes, you are so sweetheart. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> hand me my... Uh, She's a long fish. Yeah, hand me my... Hand me my line I cut here on my rod. Just go around behind. Okay. And you might have to hit my free spool. We don't have a tape measure, so I want to get a measurement on her. Okay. Just hand me, just hand me the line. Okay. Hang on a minute. She got my hand. You need to hold one end? No, I got her hand. Okay, I want you to snip this. Okay. Just take the scissors and snip it right there. Got her. Okay. Very nice. Woo! Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> That's Show Lake Muskies. That is what it's all about, folks. Show Lake Lodge. I want to thank Jason Holt for being on the boat with me. Hey, listen, I want to tell you flat out, it was chaos in this boat, but we've worked hard for these fish. We've had severe winds, we've had bright sun, we've had clouds and rain. We've had it all. He's got his personal best going right now. Good trip, no doubt about it. Come on up to Show Lake. Come up and see everybody. See Tim, Dave, and Catherine, and Lisa, and just come on up and have what we did. A great, great time. Yes, 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 yes. All right. <laughs> Number 96 over Very 5 hole. <laughs> How'd you have it? A good time? Oh, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm, I'm sorry I don't know the lake. Uh, Shoal Lake. First time ever here. Yep, my first time. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming back. Oh, look at this, man. <laughs> Folks, this is just a little bit of, uh, this is just a little bit of gill rake. That fish came up and was kamikaze. I mean, just boom. Yes. We'll see you folks for more Simply Fishing next week. Remember, practice CPR. Catch, photo, and release. The future fishing is in your hands. You got a giant like that, get her back in the water. He's got a piece of string here. We're going to see if that's our 96 over 50. I'm pretty much, pretty much sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes.